Welcome to a little Star Citizen, everybody, and today I've got a little bit of a surprise for, well, anybody who knows me, anyway. Um, here's my usual ship. It's the 315P. Now, I bought this because um, when the uh, Persistent Universe is up and running, I want to be able to go and uh, explore, be able to jump when it comes complete with the jump engine so I'll be able to uh, go on my travels by myself and have a bit of an explore now if we look over here whoops nearly ran into the wall there like a clumsy clock ooh what's that ooh Oh yeah, the M50. She's beautiful. Shoo bulb bulb. Chicka chicka. Yeah, fantastic. Awesome looking craft. Uh, Anti-aliasing really needs to be implemented in this game still, but. Uh, Plenty of jaggies on the edges of things, but um, it still looks awesome. Let's have a duck down and get up close. Look at the reflections and the panels, and oh my gosh, scratches on things, muck on things in places as well. Makes me want to take out a rag and clean it. Now the the missiles are held on by um, what appears to be magic, but of course technology you know it's a thousand years in the future so uh, either they're going to add something later within the game more than likely or um, it's magic or appears to be magic just because it's so far in the future I've forgotten the phrase but you know what I mean anyway let's have a quick look inside the cockpit Good golly, Miss Molly. Right, let's change the. Uh, oh, we'll have to come out of that first. Oops, wrong. Always the wrong button. That one. And I think what we'll do is that one. Yeah. And again, have a bit of a look around the cockpit if I can. Not the easiest of things for me to do. Even the, the quality of the pattern on the seat look. Just amazing. This game is just unbelievable already. And there's nothing in it yet. Compared to what's going to be in it later. Hello. Mr. Dodgy Eyes. So, uh, which view have we got? Let's have a go. That one. And if I look at his arm, look, look, I'm going to do my joy, my right joystick. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Uh, foot pedals don't work as yet, but uh, ah, doesn't mean anything. Doesn't change the flying aspect but let's have a look at this it's basically all engines if I can get my uh, self orientated it's all engines it's built for speed and maneuverability and not a lot else really but it's just fantastic to fly uh, I don't seem to black out in it as much as I do in anything else so that I've tried um, which isn't a lot, but I've tried them when they become, you know, free to try for a week and whatever. Uh, the 350R is um, faster, uh, 300 meters a second, whereas this is 280 meters a second. But this, I don't know, it's just so much more controllable. I can do laps in the 350R in the race 
mode um, slightly quicker about three seconds a lap quicker but that's but I've, I've only literally tried it to like three or four laps in each craft at the moment um, but this is yeah about three seconds slower than the 350 other way I fly at the moment which is obviously not correct but yeah whatever but I'm not blacking out I'm not reading out which is good compared to my other craft the uh, 315p um, it's about 15 seconds a lap quicker so I'm, I'm, I think I'm doing 130 uh, 1 minute 32 in the other in the 315p and uh, 1 minute 18 in this at the moment but uh, I'm sure I'll find some shortcuts oh sorry 1 minute 15 in this so um, yeah yeah anyway beautiful craft came on sale today so uh, I thought why not why not it's my birthday next month it's a good enough excuse isn't it see you later